Welcome to Stovetop Studios in Brooklyn, New York, in a secret location. Here's your host, Mr. Caldero. <laughs> Hello again. This is Total Impactful Smackdown. And I'm also going to add a new thing to the mix. Ring of Honor. R-O-H for all of you fans that doesn't just watch WWE all the time. And if you're watching WWE and you only watch WWE, this ain't for you, bro. Go to another YouTube. This is for other fans that like other other shit. You you can't you can't really put us in a box what what wrestling we're gonna like. Well, anyways, I'm gonna start with what's fairly new to me two weeks in a row, Ring of Honor. And this week we had AJ Styles. Which is surprising to me because the last time I saw him was in Impact Wrestling. And he is the New Japan Champion. Which is, okay. I guess it's pretty cute. So he's fighting... <clears throat> he's fighting the Ring of Honor Champion, Kyle O'Reilly. I'm not too familiar with Kyle O'Reilly. But... It's cool to see a champion versus champion match. I don't see that much. Maybe it's just a publicity stunt. But me as someone that haven't watched it before. I really want to see this happen. But it's kind of like okay. The match wasn't all that. And it kind of put me in a. Like high expectations for it. Because of the what's so important about the match but it's just like uh, high spots here high spots there they they're too special and too fancy with all their moves my opinion is they need to slow shit down nah, that's just me hj styles wins in a in a very okay way not bad i just wasn't impressed maybe just because i know aj's moves or whatever whatever but let me go into the Young Bucks. Shorty want to ride with me. Ooh, you can get low. Hop into the Chevy photo. Blow, draw. See, this is the first new guys that I recognize. As far as name-wise, because Young Buck is from G-Unit. I recognize the Young Bucks very easily. So, that was a, it was a cool match. They were facing the Briscoes. So, they're like kind of like very... Uh, Bray Wyatt beard type and they do a lot of uh, they did like a bootleg Dudley death drop it was like backwards of what the Dudleys would do it was so lame I think that <clears throat> the heat between the two teams is cool but let me say something about the Young Bucks the Young Bucks do super kicks every two minutes in the match it's probably not an exaggeration they do more super kits than I more than Shawn Michaels has ever done. All they want to be is Shawn Michaels. These two, they <clears throat> they say suck it. They do the two sweet click hand signal to each other. They do five five million super kicks a match, and they dress like the Rockers. How much more Shawn Michaels do you want to be? Do you need to get like that Twilight Zone episode where everybody has a prototype and there's like five prototypes and everyone on Earth looks the same? Is that is that what you're trying to do? Any Ring of Honor fans want to put me in place and tell me this and that and that I'm full of shit? Let me know. Let me take a, a swig of the beer for the working man like Austin would say. <clears throat> but to me... The best part of the match was like the end towards the end when they did a lot of high spots. And the coolest part to me was one of one of those um one of the young bucks was setting up for a tombstone and the other one jumped from the third rope and helped him land it. 
I don't know if this I'm just new to this I'm a noob and I just excited about lame stuff but that was cool like a two man tombstone <clears throat> that was awesome they won the match I think sorry for being horrible but anyway let me get to the real thing about Ring of Honor I'm gonna give two I'm gonna give this guy props right now this guy on YouTube that he says that he doesn't even watch WWE which kind of blew my mind but <clears throat> It's understood. He he this this is King DW twenty one zero zero. I'll check your stuff out, but I don't watch WWE. I'll check out TNA reviews and I also if you do Ring of Honor and New Japan. That <clears throat> that led me to ask him how do I go about watching Ring of Honor? And he he gave me the Ring of Honor Wrestling.com address, and I've been watching it on my laptop ever since for like two weeks. So thanks a lot for that, King DW twenty one zero zero. And the other person I want to give a shout out to is Man Bad thirty six. He said, "Not bad." It's f this is <clears throat> this is all comments to my last week's total impactful smackdown review so thanks a lot man will <clears throat> he this is this was especially the 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 king dw2100 that put me on King of honor and, and seeing aj styles with the belt makes me want to watch new japan so i'm in people that's gonna be the end of my ring of honor review but I'm going <clears> to, <throat> I have too much reviews to do on one show. So I'm going to have to create another show with another name. I was thinking of the next new ring. Combining NXT, New Japan, and Ring of Honor. So <clears throat> tell me if that's cool, you guys. Or if you like it, leave a comment. Oh, Chris Corey the future. Thanks for leaving a comment. Hope you can make it back on the show ASAP. As soon as possible for those people that don't know what that means. Let me jump into some WWE. Sorry for you people that don't like WWE. But I'm only going to talk about one thing. NXT. I'm only going to talk about. <clears throat> I'm only going to talk about one thing in NXT. Emma versus the WWE Women's NXT Champion. Charlotte. The match was, I always watch, I feel like NXT is good for the women to shine. They should just make it 50% women talent on NXT is my opinion. Because that's the best matches to me. Or the ones that I'm more invested in. It was cool when Emma did the Emma sandwich. Charlotte wins with the natural selection. It's always a good match when the divas. <clears throat> I'm sorry, they're not divas. Divas... Are when you graduate to the main roster. But whatever. This. Mm, is now moving on to Impact Wrestling. The No Surrender Pay-Per-View. Let me first take a swig of the beer. The No Surrender Pay-Per-View. Um, let me start out with the Knockout Battle Royal. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. The Knockout Battle Royal is all the women fighting for a number one contendership for the Knockouts Champion. So the end result of that is Havoc wins. The Big Butch Brawly Butch. And um, I'm going to try not to get into any spoilers because TNA is never live or barely live or whatever. Next thing is James Storm, I believe his name is. Cowboy James Storm, yeah. Keeps forming this Asian masked army. All these Asian dudes that have no home. He's like the cult leader. 
and it's forming more and more. So let's get into pretty much the best match of the night, especially for people that watch WWE and they love to see old WWE fans. We have the Hardys, the Wolves, and Team 3D in a match to see who will win the Tag Team Championships. The stipulations of this whole thing is to win, a team has to win two matches to win the championship. So far, the Hardys won, and the week before that, it was Team 3D. So the Hardys won a ladder match. Guess what, people? So simple. The Wolves, they tie it up. They tie it up. It's 1-1-1. One, one, one. So the next match is probably going to be the best match. Because that's just going to be to see who's going to finally win the Tag Team Championship. So, boom, 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 boom. main event of Total Impactful. No, no, no. Uh, uh, scratch that. Main event of Impact Pay-Per-View No Surrender. It's Bobby Roode versus the champ, the unbeatable Black Barack Lesnar for the championship. People, I was bored. I like Bobby Roode. Bobby Lashley's okay. I thought I was going to enjoy this match. I did not. Let me move on. Let me move on. Quickly. This is going to wrap up quickly. Smackdown was barely. This is the Smackdown portion. So I'm sorry to all you WWE haters. This is the Smackdown portion. AJ Lee says she prefers Paige on her back. That has a lot of sexual tones behind it. And if I would have just went with the doing the review with just reading who won, just because SmackDown's always filmed a couple days before, I would have not heard that beautiful line that makes me think pornographic thoughts. AJ says she prefers Paige on her back. Whoa, 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 whoa. <clears throat> then the other mentionable thing about SmackDown is it's Bo, it's Bo Dallas. You disappointed the whole country, Jack Swagger. So, he comes and tells Jack Swagger, he says, Jack, you seem to have lost your swagger. The whole, the whole setup is taking long, but hopefully it pays off of Bo Dallas and Swagger. So, kaboof, that was my review of Total Impactful Smackdown. Just to touch upon things. That has nothing to do with um, the shows themselves. WWE 2K15 has been pushed back to November 18th for the PS4 and the Xbox One. So people that are anticipating that, just wait. Just what is it? A week or so? Just I'm I'm one of them, and I'm gonna do a review on the game, and I'm gonna start a whole new podcast. That spins off into video game reviews with some of my friends that actually play video games. And I'm just going to help launch the first episode. But this is going to be a WWE related review podcast. And it's launching with this game. So I'm excited. I have to buy that wire so you can see the gameplay. And then I'll do the review that way. So I'm very much looking forward to that. Another thing over the weekend... Roman Reigns is going to be out for 11 to 12 weeks, I believe, or more or less, because he has a hernia. So this, I as we speak right now, I'm recording this, watching the pre-show tonight of Champions with Booker T, with Renee Young, Big Show, and whatever the other guy's name is. Alex Riley, I believe. Roman Reigns has a hernia. He's in the hospital right now. So the match between him and Seth Rollins for tonight. If you're listening to this, this is recorded Sunday. It's not happening. 
So Seth Rollins is left without an opponent unless I'm missing what they're saying because I have the pre-show muted right now. But as of now, Roman Reigns is asked out. He's in the hospital. And that makes me think, like, are they going to change his plans up for his future setup? I don't know. Only time will tell. But people, don't be shy. Leave a comment. Share with people. Tell me I'm a dick. Tell me that I could do better hosting. Tell me that I'm missing out with New Japan. Tell me criticism that I need to grow and get better at doing this show. I'm going to keep up with Ring of Honor. I'm going to try to get better at that. Thanks for the heads up, people. Every time you guys give me an opinion, I get better. I come back the next week better. So, watch the podcast on YouTube. Hopefully, you share, like, subscribe. And I will see you next week. I have two shows, people, just to let you know. Mondays, I'm sorry, not Mondays. On Tuesdays, I record we love it raw wrestling review and on friday nights i'm gonna be recording total impactful smackdown covering the second show is gonna be covering pretty much everything except raw and we love it raw it's just monday night raw so great feedback keep giving me those views for total impactful smackdown i need to widen my audience feedback is more necessary than you can understand. Signing off, Mr. Caldero and Deuces. See ya on Tuesday. We love it, Raw Review. Peace! I wonder if I touch the sky, would you care for me? What now? I'm on the ground. Barefooted, film me in my shoes. Rare footage for the world. I'ma bleed till I'm all covered. Reaching, hands all leaky. Lord, I just wanna live through the speakers. Nieces, fresh off the bleachers. Jesus, reaching to God, I might reach him. Bill him, highway to heaven. Kill him, get to the top, I don't fill him. Thing, not a goddamn thing. Sin, I'm knocking the gates, I want in. I'm reaching, but I only made it to cloud nine I'm dreaming, but it's only of a better high Coge mis manos, mi gripe he rolado Con mi gente fumamos, pasemos pa'l lado I'm reaching, but I only made it to cloud nine I'm dreaming, but it's only of a better high Coge mis manos, mi gripe he rolado Con mi gente fumamos, pasemos pa'l lado Ey, pasemos pa'l lado Mes caldero, vamos a subir de otro lado Puerto Rico blood still broken Show me love, Coney Island, born and raised Nothing can keep me awake You reaching up to the sky just waiting to know why Corruption all on my ground Yet they want the easy way out That shit just makes me sick I'm reaching hoping for some better days Hold my head up straight I'm reaching but I only made it to cloud nine I'm dreaming but it's only of a better high Coge mis manos, mi gripe he rolado Con mi gente fumamos, paselo pa'l lado I'm reaching but I only made it to cloud nine I'm dreaming but it's only of a better high Coge mis manos, mi gripe he rolado Con mi gente fumamos, paselo pa'l lado Day after day, still reaching for the stars Bars at the bars, I'ma always feel the beat Coming from inside my heart And pumping in my veins, there's no such thing as defeat I'ma keep this thing going till the day I'm slain Till the day my body and my soul decide to go their separate ways You'll see me reaching up towards your way Cuando tocábamos encima con las manos I'm reaching but I only made it to cloud nine I'm dreaming but it's only of a better high Coge mis manos, mi gripe he rolado Con mi gente fumamos, paselo pa'l lado I'm reaching but I only made it to cloud nine I'm dreaming but it's only of a better high Coge mis manos, mi gripe he rolado Con mi gente fumamos, paselo pa'l lado